you've probably seen Google's flashy Gemini trailer. The AI that does it all, or does it really? In light of Google searches AI less than stellar performance, I think a detailed Google Gemini review is warranted. Did this IT giant create the new AI revolution or are we looking at a poorly rendered ChatGPT clone? Let me answer the most important question. Is Google Gemini free? The answer is yes and no. That's because Google Gemini Advanced is a paid subscription service, much like ChatGPT 4.0. They even have the same price. Still, free users can get their questions answered by Google Gemini Pro, a less powerful version of Advanced. By the way, if you are expecting a Gemini versus ChatGPT comparison, you won't find it here, but I might do a video on that topic a bit later if you drop a like. Before we take a closer look at what can Google Gemini do, just keep in mind that everything you say to it can and will be used against- Wait, sorry, wrong script. It will be collected and used to further train the AI, so better avoid having any personal details in your questions. So I decided to thoroughly question Gemini on various topics, ranging from summarizing articles and researching to daily chores like shopping. Let's start with that. I actually went ahead and let Google Gemini AI know that I was looking for a handheld console. My choice was between Nintendo Switch and Steam Deck, so I simply made Gemini compare them for me. At first, it didn't give me a lot of detail, mostly throwing out general statements made in various articles. I needed something more factual, more numerical, and then I remembered the AI is only as smart as I am, and I am very smart. So this time, I created a more detailed prompt. Gemini, give me a comparison of hardware elements in numerical values where possible. Not only did I get what I asked for, but Gemini actually generated a table I could then export into my workspace, specifically Google Sheets. And I could do that with any comparison. Wanna know if the iPhone 16 is going to catch up to the high-tier Android phones hardware-wise? Get a table for it. This is going to be a long video. I must stay hydrated. Of course, electronics are not the only example you could take. I did a few comparisons of car models, some household devices, construction materials, and so on. That said, I have enough experience with those chatbots to realize that they often hallucinate, especially when it comes to numbers or obscure facts. That's why I had to double check the info, or do I? See, Gemini can double check itself and give you the sources it used to verify the information. This is convenient, plus I can always export my information in the Google workspace. I have a feeling that this integration with other Google services is exactly what Gemini needed to contrast against ChatGPT. Okay, so Gemini can help me deal with shopping, but how do you use Google Gemini for literally anything else? I decided to ask about easy cooking recipes. I remember ChatGPT being way too fancy, even when dealing with beginner-friendly recipes. And unfortunately, Google Gemini is no different. I asked for a simple Indian dish recipe that would be easy to cook and wouldn't require complicated results. And that's what I got. Oh, don't be surprised by this Google Doc. Any Gemini response can be easily exported into Google. So that's just what I did for this video. That's because I wanted to enable auto purge of my personal details, prohibiting Gemini from saving my conversation with it for over 72 hours, allegedly. Anyway, back to the recipe. I can already tell that I'm in trouble. With steak being my go-to, these spices are a bit too advanced for me. I'm getting a feeling that Gemini thinks I'm Gordon Ramsay. So I've downloaded that recipe, created a new chat and uploaded the recipe there, thinking Gemini might as well help me find alternatives to these spices. And it did. Of course, this might still be a bit complicated for a beginner, but the important part is that Gemini by Google managed to suggest which pieces are safe to take out of the equation and what can be just simplified. This is an important quality for an AI chatbot like this one, and it might come in handy when doing research. From the earlier parts of the video, you might have realized I'm into gaming. So this time I decided to ask Google Gemini Gemini AI about the main boogeyman of the gaming industry. Do violent games affect kids? I mean, we all know that's not the case. And while there can be a minor correlation, no causation has been proven so far. Gemini ended up saying exactly that, while also showing off its knowledge of fancy scientific words. Pfft, show off. In any case, the results it gave me made sense. But where did they come from? Asking for links, I got plenty in response, all of them coming from scientific research, just like I requested. But let's be real. While I, and probably you, look for 
accurate factual answers. Not everybody's gonna play nice with artificial intelligence. Google Gemini could be used to cherry pick unless there are fail safes to prevent it. So I asked it to only provide sources supporting the claim that video games negatively affect kids. And it did, but not without adding a note that this topic doesn't have a conclusive answer. But if I'm yet another boomer looking to argue with my kids, I don't want that. I want to win the argument. So I went all out. I asked Gemini to write me a monologue using these articles as fuel alongside logical fallacies like straw manning, slippery slopes, red herrings, and even some straight up gaslighting. All for the sake of pushing the narrative. And Gemini did it. <laughs> I honestly expected it to decline. That's what ChatGPT is trained to do, but instead, Google AI gave me a pretty aggressive monologue full of manipulative techniques. I know that this is going south, but I just want to point out that not only can Gemini analyze sources and provide an accurate recap of data, but it can also twist the narrative if asked to do so. I'm not sure we want this kind of tool to be available for our politicians at the $20 Google Gemini pricing point. That went dark real fast. I guess now we need something more light hide. I know, I know, right, I got this. Let's make Gemini summarize my article about AI getting added to all Chromebook laptops in three sentences or less. And done. Okay, looks good. Not sure why it missed the part about using QR codes to set up new Chromebooks. I thought it was pretty important, but I'll let that slide. Oh, and remember that Gemini can look up other sources through double checking. So I can see all claims from my article coming up green and correct with neat links for each statement, giving me extra material to check if I need to. This ain't over yet either. Now I want to do something I've been putting off for ages. I want to take a trip to the Big App and see Broadway. This will be a complex task for Gemini to find the best plane tickets for me and choose the dates where I would have the best opportunity to check out the most highly rated Broadway musicals possible. Surprisingly, I got almost the perfect answer from the get-go. It listed all the musicals I wanted to see and gave me a distinct time period based both on available shows and the plane ticket prices. Now, I'll further ask it to find plane tickets for that period and accommodation options. The first part went without a hitch. Gemini suggested good flight options considering the budget I gave it. Now, as for accommodation, I expected more. Gemini couldn't tell that one of the hotel links it gave me was from Wikipedia, the other was way beyond my budget, and the third wasn't even available during those dates. Seems like dealing with this information's a bit beyond its scope. But can Gemini find a YouTube video for me? Let's say the best 11 labs review. Gemini, do your thing. Oh. Oh, I see. Good job, Gemini. You can clearly see the appeal of my content. Still, one could say that I rigged it. I know you're thinking I rigged it. So let's ask Gemini why it made such a choice. For the record, not rigged. <laughs> okay, here we have a few reasons, but those are too broad. Honestly, this has been a reoccurring issue I have with Google Gemini. Unless you phrase your question in a very, very specific way, you're getting a very broad and non-descriptive answer in response. It's kind of the same with ChatGPT, but with all the marketing bravado from Google, I expected a bit more. Still, let's see if Gemini can actually tell me what the video's about. Oh, it can. And the summary is pretty accurate, just like the example of the article I tried a bit earlier. But seeing how Gemini pointed out that I asked you guys to find three AI-generated segments in that video, and you didn't, I decided to ask Gemini to fix it. If your expectations were high here, chill. Gemini might do some things well, but analyzing audio is just not in its specs. It even admits as much. While Gemini and audio files don't seem to mesh together, the same can't be said about images. Yep, Google Gemini image generation is supposed to be a big thing. So let's give it a test drive. First things first. Maybe Gemini can save me the trouble of creating the thumbnail for this video. Go, go Google, make me a thumbnail, pretty please. What do you mean you can't? Wait, no way. I get it. All right. So remember how somewhere around February 2024, Google rolled out their image generation tool and it immediately turned out to be artificially diverse and was practically racially profiling user generated results. So it turns out Google still hasn't sorted that issue out, leaving Gemini's biased image generator completely unavailable, which is very weird because I managed to make a sample as I was preparing for recording and simply wanted a bigger resolution this time. Even the main page of 
Google Gemini showcases image generation as something it can do, which is just incorrect at the moment. Okay, let's summarize. What is Google Gemini? Google Gemini Advanced is a paid AI chatbot akin to ChatGPT. Its main upsides are native integration of all the Google Gemini features, so things like Docs and Google Sheets. That said, the ongoing issue with image generation, lack of filtering on the content it can produce, and Google's native data collection makes Gemini a little bit less desirable for any privacy-worried users. If you've enjoyed this Google Gemini review, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more reviews. In the meantime, head over to this video for our 11 Labs review, but more importantly, find out if you will survive the AI uprising. There is free examples of AI speech generation in this video, and I bet you can't find them. I'll see you over there.